Hello everyone, my name is Manta Chan and I'm from the SAP HANA product support team and today I'll be talking about storage snapshots in SAP HANA SP8. To create a storage snapshot, we'll first need to open the SAP HANA Studio and expand the system we want to create a storage snapshot for. In this demo, that would be the MTC system. Right click on the backup icon and select Manage Storage Snapshot. We were presented with the storage snapshot pop-up. Because there are no snapshots currently, the only option available to us is the prepare storage snapshot option. In this demo, I will add the comment test and press OK. After pressing OK, we can see that in the backup and recovery wizard, we see our storage snapshot. Please note the location of the storage snapshot and its backup ID. We can run the query select star from mbackup catalog where entry type name equals data snapshot. Here we can view our previously completed snapshots, abandoned snapshots, and our newly prepared snapshots. On the database server itself, if we go to the location where the snapshot says it is created, we will see that there is now a snapshot data backup file created. Now that we've confirmed that we've made the snapshot, run your third-party storage tool to copy the data area. For this demo, I will just be doing a manual copy of the data directory using cp-r. Once the data area has been copied and completed, we can go back to Studio and right-click on the backup item again and select Manage Storage Snapshot. We now see the options Confirm and Abandon have been enabled. We are going to confirm our snapshot by entering the external backup ID as mentioned before and press OK. We see the status of the storage snapshot is now successful. And if we query the M backup catalog table, we can now also see that the state is successful. And if we also check the HANA server itself, we see that the snapshot data backup file is now gone. So let's return back to the SAP HANA Studio and create a schema called Snap. We will expand the catalog to verify the creation of this new schema. We're now going to stop our SAP HANA database to do a recovery from our snapshot. Once the database is stopped, please run your third-party storage tool to copy the data volume back. For this demo, we will just manually remove our old data directory and move our previously copied one over. To verify if the copy was successful, you can go to the HANA server and return to the snapshot location. You should see the snapshot file again. With the copy verified, we can now run the recovery off the snapshot file. With the snapshot verified, let's now run a recovery using the snapshot file. In this demo, I will be using the recover database to a specific data backup but you can also select the other two options if desired. Once the recovery is completed, we can expand the catalog. Once expanded, we can see that the snap schema is now missing. For more information on storage snapshots, please review SAP note 2039883. And thanks for watching.